Hey guys, welcome again to Fula Bites. I'm Jessica and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make apple glazed pork chops. Let's go. First, we're going to start off marinating the pork chops. Sprinkle one tablespoon and a half of minced garlic on both sides of your chops. Then add a half a teaspoon of paprika. Now with the spoon, rub it all in. Now add a half teaspoon of ground allspice. Let's go ahead and sprinkle at least one and a half teaspoons of rubbed sage. Add two teaspoons of salt, and just like the rest of the seasoning, make sure to get it on both sides. Go ahead and throw in two teaspoons of ground black pepper. And then two teaspoons of seasonal salt. Now for that sweet taste, let's add two teaspoons of dark brown sugar. And finally, one teaspoon of dry thyme. Once it's done marinating, take out a nonstick pan and a griller. Let's start on the glaze first. Add one stick of butter until it's fully melted. Let's get those Fuji apples. Slice and cut at least two cups worth. Add your apples to the pan. Now add one capful of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon and a half of ground cinnamon, a half a cup of granulated sugar, a half a cup of water, two third cups of dark brown sugar, and finally, one cup of store-brought applesauce. Give it a stir, cover it, and let it cook for a while. Let's move on to the pork chops. In a big enough griller, add cooking grill spray and two capfuls of olive oil on medium high heat. Take out our marinated chops and lay them in one by one. Now you're just going to keep watching both of them at the same time. Occasionally check on the apples and stir them. They will be boiling. But all you have to do is turn down the burner just a little bit and continue to cook them until the juices get thick. Once it's there, add some chopped pecans and turn it off. With the pork chops, flip them each time they brown. Add a little water so they don't dry out. And of course, once the griller seems like it's getting too hot, turn the burner down. Continue to cook until the chops are well done. When it's completely finished, transfer to a plate and pour over the apple glaze. Enjoy! Thanks for tuning in today, and if you have any questions, leave us a comment below. See you all again on Food Love Bites.